Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm kind of out of breath. I am currently recovering from COVID and I just had nothing else to do and I'm super bored. Um, I wasn't hit very hard by it, thank goodness. But I've been in quarantine for nine days now um, and I'm starting to feel better so I thought I would make a video a very very highly requested video over the past few years that I said I would sit down and make here we are it's happening let me preface this by saying I made a video of my pin collection back in 2017 I guess 2017 18 something like that and you guys really enjoyed it I have been collecting pins since I was five I love trading them, um, collecting them. I collect a little bit of everything, a lot of Frozen, Beauty and the Beast, Aurora, some Tangled, Quasimodo, Jesse, Cinderella, little bits of stuff here and there, whatever catches my eye. Since the last time I recorded my pin collection, it's grown exponentially because I have moved to Orlando and become a cast member. So they've become too easily accessible for me. So I think the last time I showed you guys, I had one or two pin bags uh, filled with my keepers and traders, pins that I would trade for other pins that I want. But now I have five pin bags, um, a bin of pins, a giant cork board of pins, two binders of pins, and then just like my small carry. Ying case of pins. This one. This is very deceiving because this is tiny. This was my first pin bag. I got it in like 2009 I think or 2010 when the 10 years of pin trading came out. And I just keep some like random odds and ends in here. There's some wishables, some frozen. Pretty much I'm gonna grab some pins to go to the park in case I wanna trade on those pin boards, which is very rare now, unfortunately, with COVID. Um, these are the ones that I grabbed from. They're all authentic, but they're just like hidden Mickeys or um, ones that aren't, oh, these ones are kinda cool, actually. People love the goofy movie pins. These are a couple of them, stand out. They're cute, Mary Poppins. So I figured I would just sit and chat and uh, go through some pins and show you guys what I have because you really enjoyed that last time and I love sharing my collection because I have worked really hard on it and spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> if you want to get into Disney pin trading, there's Facebook groups, um, there's so many tips and tricks out there, so many people willing to help you. Always try eBay, but be careful of the lots of pins. Literally, they're called pin lots. Uh, you can buy like a bulk set of them on eBay for super cheap and usually they're not real. Um, and they flood the parks with these fake pins and then it's harder to find the real ones. So just be mindful and educated when purchasing pins online. So I will be returning to work this week, which is super exciting. My first day back is Sunday, February 7th. And I will be returning to merchandise in Mexico. So I'm really happy because eventually uh, once things do kind of slow down with COVID and pin trading can pick back up again, I will be able to pin trade with the guests and I will just cry all day long because it's like my favorite thing to do. I don't even know where to start. I guess I should start with just like, I'm gonna show you my traders. Okay, we're gonna start off with just some randos. This is a nice small book to start with. I found this at Goodwill. It's an official Disney pin trading book. It's super cute. It doesn't hold very much in it, uh, but I thought it was really cute. And if you see something pin trading in Goodwill, you, you get it. Uh, so there's just a few princess pins in here. I hope you can see these pretty well. Um, some hidden Mickey sets. These are some flags from Disneyland. Some bottles. Yeah, so these are all ones that I would bring to like uh, different trading events to see if other people would want them for things that I would maybe want. Much it. Oh, these ones are cool. There's not many Pandora pins uh, because pin trading on Pandora doesn't really like, exist in that world. It's becoming more of a thing, but originally there were like no pins on Pandora. So they had like this one little mystery pin set that 
I loved um, and those pins were from there. There's a couple other ones too. There's two of the Wilderness Explorer badges in pin form that you can get the two Pandora badges. I have the ecology one. I don't have the botany one. I'm still on the hunt, but those ones are really cool too. So this is my oh, other trading binder. As you can see, it's a bit more heavy duty. Uh, this one just has pages of ones that are still in. <laughs> I'm crazy, <laughs> truly. Um, they're still in like the wrapping. There's a bunch of uh, marathon pins in here from the Princess Marathon. What else do we have? Just some random park pins. Um, a few from the West Coast, the Disney Soda Fountain and all of their limited edition pins. They far exceed anything we usually have over here. I also have a few really cool, you know, cast pins that we get, uh, limited edition exclu exclusives or oh, access. We get access to, that's the word. A few duplicates, uh, like I have this Aurora pin, but I also have it for trade. A few lanyards. This one's really cool. This is an Emperor Palpatine one I got years and years ago before the newest Star Wars came out. And now I'm like, I don't want to keep it, but I kind of don't because I don't really collect Star Wars. Yeah, just a couple other random ones. And that's that. Easy to flip through, keeps them all safe. <sighs> See, I'm out of breath. <laughs> They're very heavy. <laughs> They're very heavy and my lungs are very mad at me. I have one more book of traders. This one. Whew, this one is really heavy. There's a lot of random pins in here. So let's get into them, shall we? I'm so sorry. These are just so random and all over the place. Here's a bunch. Kylo Ren, a few Beauty and the Beast. Some of them are older. A candlelight processional. I really loved this. Uh, it was like a mystery pack at one point. It was Soren, but it had all of the different countries. Or, yeah, all the countries that you go to. Soren around the world. And then they discontinued it, so I only got two of them. Um, so I decided to trade them, but I thought it was a really cute idea. Uh, Disney College Program, I traded somebody this before I worked for Disney. I got it from somebody doing the Disney College Program, and I was like, wow, like, I'm gonna do the Disney College Program, and then I never actually did the Disney College Program. <laughs> I did a professional internship, so now I'm like, mm, I guess I don't really need that one anymore, do I? Here's some more. I can just kind of look at them all over the place. I like this one of Aurora. I have it already, but it's just a duplicate. It's like stained glass in the back. They have them for a bunch of the princesses and a few of the princes too. Oh, this is one of my favorite sets. I was obsessed with this when it first came out. The letters of the alphabet. They had all the letters and the characters, and then they had sparkly ones like the Zazu, and it was like a chaser. So they had the normal ones, and then they had the sparkly versions, of course that were limited edition 300 because they couldn't just have the normal ones. So I was, after all of them, like a crazy person. Um, I still have a couple. I'll, you'll probably see them later from ones that I still actually collect. I think I have like an E for Elsa and an A for Anna. I, I thought that was, I, that's a really cute idea. They have them for the Pixar movies too. I don't know what you guys are interested in. Oh, heavy. So I'm just trying to show a little bit of everything. This one's pretty cool. It like, you pull it up, you can't really see, and then it's the Cheshire Cat. You can see his little smile, and then it goes away. He's there. Shanghai opening day lanyards. I have some more lanyards. Too many of these. Keys to the Kingdom. That was a really cool day. Everyone that does the Keys to the Kingdom tour gets a pin with it. Um, that was like my most exciting moment when we did the Keys of the Kingdom. I was like, I finally got the pin. <laughs> um, these ones down here, I think are from Hong Kong or Tokyo. They're really cute. A few hidden Mickeys, some villains. I like this one, the Tangled. The little shields, all of the Princess Fairy Tale Hall shields. The Great Movie Ride. Um, and this is another one of the princess like stained glass ones, like the Aurora. But it's Ariel. So those are my, oh no, I lied, there's one more. <laughs> this is my cork board of traders. And I got this at Goodwill too. 
it just is a little bit easier to take pictures of and see if you're trading. So here's some of the nicer traders that I have. These ones are from Walt Disney Imagineering or the parks or Disney Studios store in Hollywood. Um, yeah, these are Mickey's of Glendale. I love this whole series that they do, the anniversary film strips. I have the Frozen one. I feel like there's another one that I have too. Um, but I have these three for trade. They're, they're just so well done. They're super cute. I have these three up here. <laughs> I don't even know how to show you. These three are fantasy pins. So they're designed by just like Disney fans. So they're not official Disney pins. Uh, this one's really cute. It's Hey Hey, but he, like he's an enchanted tiki bird. And then people just get them made. So you can't officially trade them for Disney pins. Um, but people will trade fantasy for fantasy pins. And then just a few more. <laughs> it never ends right um these ones are just from the parks i think these two down here are cast member um exclusives they're really cool they're like little song books music to my ears um this one just came out the 101 dalmatians and then there's some nightmare before christmas emperor's new groove <sighs> if i see something that i think people would like i try to pick it up to trade i haven't traded in a very long time because of COVID and I used to have a pin Instagram and I used to go on Facebook all the time to trade with people in the pin community but I haven't in a while. We made it through the traders almost. I you just you think it's over but it's not over. It just never ends. <laughs> My bin. There's keepers and traders in here. These are like the jumbo pins that don't really fit in other books and bags um there's this one for trade that i think is super cute and i'm like really close to keeping it it's um like a pride day but it's all of like the og characters in the rainbow and it's really like that's my hand it's really big and it's really beautiful and it comes in this cute little case if tom holland's face were on any of these pins they would be kept but they're not or he's not, so they're not. <laughs> Just totally put the top of that right on Sven. Sorry, dude. Um, we'll come back to the bin because there are some really cool keepers in there, some of my favorites. Now we're moving on to the good stuff, my good stuff, my favorites, my pride and joy, the collection that has grown exponentially over the years and I've bled over. It's true, this is a very bloody hobby you just stab yourself with pins all the time all the time this book bag of pins has some of my oldest uh i usually whenever i stay at a new resort i get a pin for that resort or if i go to disney for in a certain year when we would go on vacation i get a pin for that year so to start that's kind of this page it's all of the resorts i've stayed at and all of the years that I've been to Disney. Um, except 2020, because we don't talk about 2020. I do have one pin that says 2020 on it, and I'll show it to you, but uh, otherwise, no. Yeah, these are some of like my smaller collections too, but some really cute pins that I really enjoy. So this is my Rapunzel collection. They're really sweet. I love this one. It's like a little Valentine's letter envelope and it opens and it has Rapunzel and Eugene from their kingdom dance scene. I love it. It's got the little sun and this one's really simple but it's just her crown and I think it's gorgeous. It's an open edition at the parks. Um, you can find it there. The lantern scene. Anything with a lantern scene, I want it. <laughs> I have a few of these too. They're macaroons from Paris. And they have the princesses inside. Ooh, I don't know if you can see, but they're really cute. And then it has like their castle in the metal. So it has her tower. I really enjoy the pins from overseas because they're so different than the pins that we have here. Here's a, another one from overseas. Um, this is my Quasimodo or Hunchback of Notre Dame collection. I really enjoy this one. It's from the studio store in Hollywood. It's got all of the characters on it. I love Quasimodo. I love his story. He's so sweet. This one's from Paris. It's their dreams. 
I guess, show at nighttime. Um, but look how pretty. It's got the Notre Dame stained glass window. And my OG girl before Elsa was even a thing, back when I was a little nugget, Jessie. My main squeeze. Some of these are kind of heavy and old, so they're falling all over the place. But this is my Jessie collection. I love Jessie. I always have... So this is kind of my homage to her. These are my Cindy pins. Um, this one is one of my favorite pins that I have. It's a calendar and it's Cinderella. And just the year that they made this one, it's May. And there is a little pumpkin or like a little star on my birthday because I think it was Mother's Day that year, but I just like to say it was my birthday. This one's really cool. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like actually a plastic bubble when she's singing like Sweet Nightingale. Um, and this one's a newer one. I think it was the 70th anniversary. I love this one, the name tag. Cindy's got her own little name tag. I love this collection too. So I talked about this in my first video. This is the Premier Birthstone collection with all the princesses. I'm missing one. It is January. It is Esmeralda. Not Esmeralda. Megara. I have Esmeralda. She's me. Uh, Megara is January and she's very expensive and she's very hard to come by and I've been looking for her for years. She's hard to pin down, um, driving me kind of crazy, but I think these pins are beautiful. They're really thick, like the quality is incredible and at one time they were an open edition pin in the parks, but now they're really hard to come by. So there's 12, one for each month, the birthstone, and they're really pretty, all the heroines. And this little collection over here is Periwinkle the Fairy. She is Tink's little sister, or I guess twin sister. They were born of the same laugh from Secret of the Wings. And these are the five pins featuring Periwinkle. So I am a Periwinkle completist. I have all of the pins that are officially licensed Disney pins that have Periwinkle on them. Um, I love Periwinkle. I think she is so cute. She's voiced by Lucy Hale. I love her colors and that she's a winter fairy. Oh. Yeah, she's great. I love this Hidden Mickey set. It's the Fast Passes. There's a bunch, you can see there's spots missing all over the place. I think there were four sets that were released. Um, they're hard to find authentic versions of. So all of the ones in my book are real, um, but they've been faked a lot. So they're, they can be found like in the parks to trade, but most of the time, at least with this set, it's more than likely that they're a fake version. Um, and again, I like the challenge and I like knowing that they're authentic. So I really try to focus on finding the legit versions. And then these ones are really cute. They're little fortune cookies. I loved when they came out with these and they have little quotes from the movies. Go live your dreams. This is one, I think it says Ohana means family. It's got Stitch on it. Is that Elsa? Love will thaw a frozen heart. I think this one just says, just keep swimming. Yeah, it's Dory. They came in like little Chinese food boxes. I love the packaging on some of these pins. One last little collection, Meet the Robinsons. They don't make a ton of pins for these, but I love this movie. I love how much it incorporates just like Walt's vision and how he saw the world and keep moving forward and family love and you know, you never know. Your past doesn't, or your past or your present doesn't define your future and you know, you make that happen. So I just, I love that movie and those messages. I think it's underrated and the pins are really hard to find. And then these ones are just a couple of the fantasy pins. Like I said before, they're not officially licensed Disney pins. I love this one. It's Tadashi and Honey Lemon. Someone made it from Big Hero 6 and they're just like sitting in the window of his, I guess workshop and it glows in the dark like the stars glow and they're just listening to music and then that one's an Eeyore and he's got a little semicolon on his ear just for like mental health awareness. And How long have I even been talking? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sleep good tonight y'all. This is the most physical activity I've had in like a week and a half. Okay. All right, this is my oldest book. <laughs> I got it on eBay and I love it. Um, it's not as new, but the quality is super high and it keeps everything really secure and safe and there's lots of pockets. 
Ah, yes, this is my Beauty and the Beast collection. This is home to some of my most beautiful pins um, and my most expensive pin. It's mostly just Belle, not like general Beauty and the Beast, but mostly just Belle. So this is the first page. Lots of Belle in her uh, yellow dress and this pin right up here. It's an Art Nouveau pin. It is my most limited edition. There's only a hundred of them in existence. And it is my most expensive pin. I did not pay what it is worth. Not even close. Um, but it goes for up to almost, I think, $1,000. Uh, just because it is so rare. And it was a Disney auction pin. So Disney used to auction limited edition pins off on ebay they used to have a disney auction site and they were official disney pins wish they still did that could you imagine it would be so easy to get really cool pins now you have to like hunt them down as the coasts you're on oh gosh it's crazy um but the one next to it i'm actually going to take out of my book to show you because it is really really special um it's this one right here it's a piece of Disney movie pin. So this one is a limited edition of 2000. They were released in 2012. And I have seven of these. And they're my favorite pins that I own. They're gorgeous. I wish Disney made more of them for more films. I hope they do eventually. Each one has a unique and individual film cell inside of it from the film. So if you hold it up to the light, you can see, so you can see that they're, it's the ballroom scene and they're dancing. And it's just so special and so beautiful. And it's like pin on pin. Like it's so well made and it's big. Like it's the size of your palm. So I adore these pins. They're very hard to find now. Especially those better scenes. Um, and I was doing really well collecting them for a couple years. And then the price of them just skyrocketed. Like, yeah, that's not in my budget anymore. Not that I have much of a budget being furloughed for almost 11 months. But here's another macaroon. This one's Belle from Paris. These ones have some of her other dresses, a few of the roses. I love the enchanted rose theme. Her winter dress. Philippe. I love these ones too. They're um, like portraits from scenes of the movie. Ah adventure in the great wide somewhere another one of my prized collections with some of my most beautiful pins aurora sleeping beauty these have some gorgeous 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 pins in them some of them open this one briar rose i think that's a walt disney imagineering one this one's really cool it's like a hologram um, this is a book that opens. I just like it because it looks like the actual Sleeping Beauty book that they like, you know, read at the beginning. Aurora is very special to me, so I left a lot of room in this book for her. So it's not completely full, but I know that over time I will collect more. This was a really cool collection that came out for the anniversary of Sleeping Beauty. Whoa, brain fart. Um, <laughs> and it like has little book pages from the story. So this isn't the whole thing, uh, but I collected all of the ones that have Aurora on them or like Briar Rose. And this one is a gigantic, beautiful pin. And again, I don't know if this one's like, it's officially Disney licensed, but it's called, it's like an Acme pin. So it's like kind of Disney, but not really Disney, not sold by Disney, but is Disney. I don't really get these ones, but I thought it was beautiful. So I had to have it. And I love this one too, because I got to hang out with Aurora um, last winter in her winter gear and dress for the holidays. So I think it's really special. This is another one of like the song books. Once Upon a Dream. Oh, this is my one pin that has 2020 on it. There you go. It's Aurora. And then this one is from 2020, I think New Year's, or 2019 New Year's. And it has her and her prints on the inside. Guys, I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh, this was a big undertaking today. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? My animals are looking at me like I'm crazy, talking to myself. That's okay. 
Maybe I am. Okay, this is. This is, this, these are my babies. This is my Frozen collection. This page is all just Anna and Elsa loving on each other, being sisters. This one's a really cool one. This one's from Paris, and it's the door. You wanna build a snowman on his plane outside, and Elsa's inside with her dad. Concealing, she's got the gloves. I love this one, it says cast member, but it's them in Norway. I like this one too, it's kinda simple, but it's a festival of fantasy pin. Each of the floats has their own pin, and that's the Anna and Elsa one. I think it's pretty. Yeah. Guys, this video is literally gonna be an hour long. I'm so sorry. Get comfy. I hope you have a snack. If not, maybe go get one. <laughs> All right, so these are, I'm literally sweating. This is, ooh. It's getting intense. It's getting intense. <laughs> These are all my Elsa's. <laughs> um, she has some of the most beautiful pins I've ever seen. Um, this one is stained glass. These three actually are stained glass. Four? Five? Lots of stained glass for Elsa. This one is really special. It's a limited edition 150. And it's a pre-production pin. So it's like one of the rarest originals. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. There's one of the letters. And I love that the else is an E, because guess what? I'm an E too. <laughs> and then these ones are cool, they all open. The macaroon. But hopefully I'll be able to add to the Frozen 2 side of the collection. Uh, yeah, here we've got, you know, true to myself. She's got the knot. And then over here we've got epilogue Elsa. And the knock. Y'all don't understand. I am profusely sweating. That's one thing. Um one of like my COVID after effects. Like I got really lucky. I only had a fever for a couple days. Like I never had a really bad <sighs> cough or shortness of breath or anything like that. Um like a little bit, but nothing too extreme. So I got really lucky, but for the past few days, at random times, I'll just start profusely sweating. Profusely. It's disgusting. So I'm feeling that right now, in case you're wondering. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I, anyway. <laughs> We should, we sh nothing is sacred. We share everything here on this channel. These are my Anna pins. <laughs> I don't have as many as Elsa, but I try to keep up. I like to have them nice and even. Um, she is wonderfully special to me. She is so strong and her pins are gorgeous. I love the juxtaposition of colors between Elsa's pins and Anna's pins. Uh, I think they look really nice next to each other. And I think they did this girl the best, the most justice on her new, uh, like, epilogue pin for her queendom. I think it's so beautiful. The paint is lovely. And then she's got her little, her little open pins, too. And then we can't forget the happiest snowman there ever was. There you go. Look at all Olaf's. He's on the beach, he's in the summer, he's dressing up like a cowboy and a superhero. Samantha. Samantha. Yeah, so here is my last page of Frozen. This is just kind of like an everyone else page. I wish there were more Bruni pins because if you know me, you know that I love the reptilians. Um, and I would love to have a Bruni collection, but right now I just have two of Bruni. And this one they spelled feisty wrong. <laughs> Good job, Disney. Um, and then we've got some really cute Sven pins. And the Troll and Marshmallow and one for Hans and Aduna. Okay. So these are the other, um, 
pieces of Disney movie pins that I was talking about. I think I had these in my last video, but they're still some of my favorites. The pins themselves are gorgeous, really well made, um, and also the scenes inside of them are really, really special. This one is like when Mulan is sitting with her dad underneath like the cherry blossom trees. It's one of my favorite scenes. I have quite a few from Tangled because Tangled is just a visually stunning movie and I love those characters. And then the Finding Nemo one I have is cute. It's Dory looking at Squishy, the little jellyfish. That's like my favorite scene in the movie. Pixar pins, Joy, one of my other girls. Um, Wally and Eve. My car's name is Eve, so I've got quite a few of Eve. Prince Eric is the love of my life, so I needed one of him. What's this one down here? Find a happy place, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Tarzan, one of my favorite classics. The adventure book from being an explorer. I think this book is just a bunch of like random pins that I didn't know what to do with, but I love them so much that I had to keep them. My favorite hidden Mickey sets. I do like to collect the hidden Mickey sets from the park sometimes, making sure, of course, they are all authentic. These ones are faked very, very often, but this is an OG set back from like 2008. I saw them with my cousins and was obsessed with the Puffles, their Club Penguin. Uh, I never even played Club Penguin, but I was obsessed with these pins and I got them for Christmas. And now they're like all over the place, but they're very rarely real, but these ones are real. And I'm very proud of them. I love the little Disney food ones. I think those are really cute. Little macaroons, some buses. There are a few other Disney buses that I would love for pins, working on those. And then all the Princess Fairy Tale Hall um, emblems and crests are super cute too. This is just a bunch of randos. This one up here is one of my newest ones. It's a terrarium, like literally a terrarium. And it's got flower and Bambi inside and I love it. It's gonna be their new set for this year. I think one comes out every month. So this was January's. The Pirates one down here is super simple, but it's literally one of my favorite pins because I'm a I, Pirates of the Caribbean are some of my favorite movies ever. And I love like the pirate coins and I think it looks really good. Like that's a really well made pin. Just a few more because we stand Baby Yoda in this house. We've got some cute little wishables. Jack Sparrow, love of my life. I love this one down here because it was the Halloween pin for this year, the limited edition, and Maggie and I were Pooh and Piglet. So it's like us, I love it a lot. And then these last four pages are pins separated by park. So first we have Magic Kingdom pins. Again, one of those Keys to the Kingdom tour. Some really cool Haunted Mansion ones. Some of them glow in the dark. Um, we got Space Mountain, Big Thunder, Splash. They're getting heavier. <laughs> there you go. We've got some World Showcase, some Festival of the Arts, Spaceship Earth, Mission Space, Test Track, OG Test Track. Horizons, keep moving forward, figments. This figment pin down here, the one with like the colors and the squares, I took to elementary school on um, show and tell day, I guess. And I lost it on the playground. It fell off my bag or my lanyard or something. And um, I found it in the field outside of school like a week later. I still have it. We've got some Animal Kingdom. Got some really cool ones from my time as an explorer. A few of those Pandora ones. Everest. They have really cool conservation pins. This one is designed by one of the uh, conservation leaders that works at Magic Kingdom. I was talking to him on the trail one day and he alone carries that pin to trade with people. Um, and it was one of my last days as an explorer and he's like, do you have any pins to trade? I'm like, I always have pins with me. So I traded him that pin. Don't have many from Hollywood Studios. Don't spend a lot of time there. We've been blocked out for like two years. 
Um, but there you go, some studios, great movie ride, rock and roller coaster, Tower of Terror. Definitely gotta step up my studios game. But those are all of my pins in bags. We've got one more bucket to go back to, and that is it. If you can see how many pins are all over the place right now, I don't have room for this in this apartment. This is the only live action that Disney should have made. They should have made it and stopped because it went downhill from there. The Cinderella live action movie is the best and these pins are stunningly gorgeous. Her dress, the butterfly, the shoe. I love this box set. This is from uh, the Disney store when the movie came out. I think that this is the only live action they should have remade. I don't like any of the other ones. This one's really special. So this is a little plant, planter pin. It's from Epcot uh, International Flower and Garden Festival in 2001. So I was actually there for the first time in 2001 during the Flower and Garden Festival. It's part of my Hunchback collection. It's an older set from the Disney store. I think there's five pins in here. I love it, just a little wood box. And then last but not least, definitely not, woo! Definitely not least are some of my all time favorite pins. You saw the piece of Disney movie pins that had the film cells in them. Those are some of my favorites. These are my other favorites. Um, these are storybook pins, jumbo stained glass storybook pins. I don't have all of them. I have a fair few of them. I'm always on the hunt for more. Um, the one that I want the most is the Sleeping Beauty one, of course, but I do have a beautiful few. Uh, so this is what they are boxed in. They're large. It's the entire thing inside. Um, so then you take off the cover and you can see the book. This one is Beauty and the Beast. It says it on the side. And then it actually opens to have like Belle and Beast on the inside. And these are some of the most stunning pins ever. <laughs> I love them so much, so much. And they have the storybook series and then like, they're all storybooks, but then there's like the movies and then there's like the parks. There's a lot of different types of them. Um, I have six. Yeah, so this one's Finding Nemo. Same kind of idea. Any Nemo on the inside. I just think the stained glass part is stunning. The detail, they're so well made. Oh, this is another one of my favorites. I love this one. Peter Pan. It's Tinkerbell. And then they're flying over London. And for all you Jasmine fans, Aladdin. Ooh. Okay, this one's coming out. <laughs> you can get a better idea of the side. So pretty. Ah, oh, look at them. A dream. But yeah, I don't exactly remember where my pin collection was the last time I filmed a pin collection video, but I definitely think it's grown since then. A lot. <laughs> I'm sure you can tell. Here's another one. The old castle. Pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed showing off all of my pins. If you have any questions about them, I would love to answer them. You can reach out to me in the comments or on Instagram. I will link my account below. Um, I love to trade, so you know, be sure to keep an eye on those uh, Facebook groups for trading and stuff like that too. My favorite ride, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes love but yeah those are all of my pins right now and like I said they grow very frequently um chances of me having new pins next week are pretty good I like to post them on Instagram sometimes if I find really really cute ones I used to have a pin Instagram I'll link it down below just in case you want to check it out and see if there's anything else that I have posted on there that I might have missed that's my story and I'm sticking to it I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and, um, I don't know, eat some ice cream. It's still early. I hope you're staying well. Wash your hands, wear your masks, be kind, all of those good things. I will talk to you soon. Peace out.